What's up guys, Travis with T-Customs Productions, T-Customs.com. Mentioned to you guys I will be putting together a new desktop computer, bring you guys better quality videos. It's gonna help my process from my music production to video editing and all that good stuff. It's just time for an upgrade. I'm gonna be upgrading from this M17X Alienware. You guys can see this is the case that I'll be putting these components in. I got a number of the components in today from my motherboard, graphics card, and various things. I wanted to show you guys a little bit of what I got in the mail today. I'm still waiting on my processor, some extra hard drives, and some. I think my power supply unit is still on the way. So I won't be able to start assembling this yet, but my plan is to give you guys a general overview, show you the components, and then also do a multi-part series on putting the computer together. For those of you who are interested who are you know, asking about that. Some folks were asking why I didn't go with an iMac or, or MacBook Pro. I know a lot of producers and DJs are using Mac products, uh, Mac computers. I just first off, let me say that what I'm going to show you here does not mean this is the kind of setup you have to do. This is what I opted for based on my experience and based on the research that I did. Personally, you know, there's a lot of really great pre-assembled desktop computers, laptop computers, or if you're going to build your own computer, there's a ton of great components out on the market. I think it comes down to just doing your own independent research, looking at reviews. I've done a lot of, of research over the years as well as recently going back and just picking out different components of what I want to put into it. It obviously too is going to depend on what budget you have to build. You know, if you set a thousand dollar budget or five hundred or two thousand dollar budget, you know, you're going to have more freedom to get higher quality components or a more powerful processor or more RAM or whatever. One thing I will say about buying a pre-assembled machine versus building your own is you don't have as much control over what goes into it. Yes, there are sites for you know, build your own laptop or build your own desktop. You can go and you can pick certain components, but you're you're still very constrained. So when you build your own computer, you can actually go on a site. Like I order most of my components from a site called Newegg. If, if you guys have ever built computers, you've probably been on the site. I've been using Newegg personally for about 10 plus years. They have great prices. They have great components. They have a great review site. So you can go to Amazon or some other sites to get reviews. But this is more geared for uh, electronics for computer components and there's other sites out there there's sites like Tiger Direct and some other various sites Newegg has always been a go-to for me if I can find it there and it's you know the price is right I'll usually just go with them so as far as the case this is the case a case that I've had for a number of years it's it's a really good quality case it's a full tower so it's really tall it's, a, it's almost like a server style case the guy that I got this from actually had water cooling in this for any guys who know about building computers and, and particularly for gamers, uh, running water cooling. I am not going to be water cooling this system. I've got a lot of fans. I also bought an aftermarket heatsink fan for my processor. That way I can do a little bit of overclocking to get a little bit of extra juice out of it. But this thing is, is great. The only problem I think I'm going to have is that it is too tall to fit under my computer desk, my studio desk. So I'm going to have to put this on one side or the other. I don't know if that's going to be an issue, but I went ahead and said, you know, I've got this case. I like, I really like this. It's big, but I like it for a couple different reasons. Number one, I have a lot of space in here. It might be a little overkill, but what I like about it, especially when you're building a computer, is sometimes if you get these more compact cases, when you go to build them, put the motherboard in and, and everything, it gets really tough sometimes to get your hands in there and get everything mounted. So this, something larger, gives you more space to work on the computer itself and then also to get nice airflow going through. A ton of places for fans here and here. I can mount three uh, 120 millimeter fans here on top. There's just a lot of a lot of great space in here. You want to throw in multiple CD drives, extra hard drives, you've got the space. There's also a, a hard drive mount that goes in here which I think is in the other room but anyway this is the case i'll be putting everything into so other than that i just want to show you a few of the components that i just received in the mail today that are going to be going into this uh, i'm still waiting on a number of, of pieces and i will show you guys those at a later time i'm not going to do a detailed unboxing right now just wanted to show you generally what i've got this is the motherboard this is the asus sabertooth 990 fx revision 2 motherboard Real dope, yeah, they use military grade components, it's great for overclocking. There are other comparable motherboards out there for both systems. This is just what I chose to go with based on the processor that I picked, which I'll show you later on when I get that actually in the mail. A video card that I am going with, this is the Gigabyte GeForce GTX 750 with a gig of GDDR5 onboard RAM. When I was looking at video cards, I'm not a gamer, let me just say that right up front. I'm not spending $500 or four hundred dollars on a video card I wanted to get something quality because I am going to be running multiple monitors and just for video rendering and, and just just for general use not for any kind of extensive gaming 
So I ended up going with something that's a little bit, I would consider a mid, mid range or maybe even on the lower end, but this is gonna be a, definitely a big step up from what I have on my laptop and what I've even had in the past with, with past desktop computers. Never had quite a powerful um, as a video card as this. I know again, it's not like one of the best out, but this is gonna work based on my budget for uh, what I need. All right, so next what I have is my primary hard drive that I'm gonna be running on this computer. This is the Crucial M500. This is a solid state hard drive. It's a 960 gigabyte. And for those of you who have solid state drives, you know how great the performance is. I feel like once you go to a solid state, from a 7200 RPM drive, it's gonna be hard to go back. You're running this as your primary drive, you've got your operating system installed on it, you're running all your music software and your music plugins. Everything's gonna load quicker. I've talked about this solid state drives before. I have a 500 gig solid state on my laptop, which is great, but I wanted to go ahead and upgrade the space on that because I know I'm gonna be running all my plugins, all my music software. I've got a lot of new sounds and things that I wanna to add to the drive, but I'm kind of limited on space with the 500 gig. So I went ahead and pretty much doubled that with uh, the 960. This is, I'm, I'm really looking forward to getting in and testing this out. These are, I will say, these are on kind of the high end as far as price is concerned. They've gone down a lot since I bought my laptop solid state. However, they're still kind of pricey. So, you know, I would still try to, rec I would recommend, try to work it into your budget. Even if it's a smaller drive, even if you end up going with just like a 200 gig or, you know, something smaller that you're just gonna run your operating system and your primary applications on, because the performance to me is, is a big deal, especially with music production, video editing, and all that kind of stuff. So definitely, definitely recommend, even if you don't go with this one in particular, I definitely recommend getting, uh, looking into solid state drive for your next build. Next, I've got my optical drive. So this is a, a Blu-ray uh, reader, writer, DVD, reader, writer, you know, all in one unit, it's LG. And it's OEM, so it didn't come in the manufacturer's packaging, but it's still, you know, I've ordered OEM products from New Edge before, no problem. I just wanted to have something basic in there just in case. I don't use my optical drive that often, but it's good to have to burn discs to install. Uh, this is the operating system, so I got Windows 7. I didn't go with Windows 8. What I read online is Windows 7 will still be supported until 2020. I'm really familiar with Windows 7, getting in, customizing the settings, optimizing everything the way that I want. So I just went ahead and got a, you know, a license for the Windows 7 Ultimate. So not too much to say with this. The last thing that I got was just an add-on card. It's a FireWire card to add to the motherboard for my interface. I also read that there is an add-on Thunderbolt card that I can get later on. For now, I'm just gonna go with FireWire and then maybe later on I'll upgrade to the Thunderbolt add-on. That way I can get the higher performance from my interface. So that's all I got in the mail today. Once I have received the other components, I'll shoot another video, let you guys see the processor and everything else that's gonna go into this. And then after that is when I'll start the process of assembling it, and I'll be sure to record that probably in a couple video series to show you, for those of you who are interested in actually the assembly of this, this computer. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I know some of you are already experienced with building a computer. Some of you maybe have never built one before or you're maybe just starting to learn. For those of you who have never built one or are starting to think about it, I would recommend doing some research, looking into it, because I really feel personally that you can get, you can build like a really, really high quality, powerful machine within a reasonable price when you go through and you pick out your different components and you assemble it yourself. I will be shooting follow-up videos on this and if you got any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Peace.